Well, you know, we have pets for a lot of reasons, but for the most part, companionship and love. Yes, yeah, soft, furry dogs and cats are perfect pets for those people, but have you ever considered a bird? Well, I recently visited M&D Bird Farm in Harbison and was really surprised to learn the advantages of becoming a bird owner. The birds at M&D Bird Farm are colorful. Some are chatty. Others like to show off. And many like to cuddle. Well, a lot of people don't realize that birds are a lot more cuddly than they per are perceived to be. And um, dogs and cats are always known to be the furry, cuddly ones, but birds are actually very, very interactive and very cuddly as well. Who knew? And according to M&D Bird Farm Manager Eric McGinnis, there's a lot of misconceptions about owning a bird, like they're messy. There's certain techniques that we use as far as uh, putting butcher paper in their cages so you can just pull out the paper and change it. Uh, we actually have cleaners that uh, help dissolve uh, bird poop in the cage. Birds can even be potty trained, so if you let the bird out in your house, the poop stays in the cage. The other thing is, is that birds have large beaks, so people tend to be afraid of the large beak. And um, most birds, we actually, when we train them as they're little, we actually put fingers in their mouths. Like right now, their, their mouth is another hand. So mm -hmm. she's actually just holding on. She's not biting me, uh, and that's very important. Terry Martin owns M&D Bird Farm. I started breeding cockatiels 20 years ago, and I ran an ad in the Sussex Guide and found that there was a huge market here that no one was filling. So I decided to try to fill the void mm -hmm. and uh, became very successful to the point where I had to either move out of my own house or build a store. Now the store is full of all kinds of birds. We've expanded into everything from cockatiels to macaws, finches, parakeets, uh, Amazons, African greys, cockatoos. Mm -hmm. uh, we run the gamut. With all the different species, how do you choose? The bird needs to fit your lifestyle. Uh -huh. You need to know what your lifestyle is. Um, what kind of time you have to spend with a bird, um, what you're looking for in a bird, and we match the bird to you. Um, if you don't have a lot of time to spend with it, we would fit you more with a conure or an Amazon or an African Grey, depending on the talking ability you're looking for. If you have a lot of time, a macaw or a cockatoo might be a better bird for you if you're looking for a true companion that you can play with and hold and cuddle and train. Um, just all depends on the person. Birds are considered to be four to five times more intelligent than dogs and cats, so it's more equivalent to having a three-year-old for the rest of your life. And depending on the age you buy one, your bird will likely be with you the rest of your life. They live a very long time. You're looking at an investment um, that, you know, a conure can live 30 to 40 years. Uh, one like this would live 100. Uh, cockatoo, 75 to 100. Eric says you just need to feed them properly. Food is the most important care for a bird. They have actually very little to no veterinary expense. Um, it's all in their diet. The biggest mistakes we see people make with their birds is actually in proper diet. Um, they eat more, similar to a human more so than another animal that people are used to. Like a dog, it's a dog food. Uh, birds actually eat fruits and nuts and berries and uh, fresh fruits. We offer vitamin supplements. We actually have um, uh, things that help the, their bird's feathers grow more healthy to be a little more pristine. Grooming is important too. Uh, typically they have to have their nails cut just like people have their pedicures and manicures. They have their wings clipped sometimes. Some people choose not to clip wings and they actually uh, free flight their birds so that's an option as well. There's bird harnesses just like you would have a dog with a leash. You can actually take your bird outside with a harness on it. And what about all that talking? <laughs> Eric says you can train them to talk or you can let them pick up their own words. At least Sesame Street on any of the kids' channels, they actually enunciate the words better, so it's easier for the birds to learn how to talk that way. But if you want peace and quiet. The lights go out, they, they're very quiet. They sleep all night. They actually sleep more than we do. They're, they're good for 10 or 12 hours sleep every night. They also take a nap in the middle of the day. It really does sound like having a three-year-old, doesn't it? And every bird at M&D Bird Farm is hand-raised at the facility. They also stock everything you need 
for bird care. And if you want to go on vacation, you can have your bird kenneled at M&D. They have volunteers who make sure your bird gets the socialization it needs while you're gone. I never would have thought of a bird as cuddly. They're very cuddly. They really are. <laughs> How about that? Well, thanks for watching Delmarva Life. Now, be sure to join us Monday. It's flu season. We're hearing from everywhere that it's a bad one. What you can do to avoid this nasty bug and how available the vaccine still is here on the Eastern Shore. And many of us work in an office, but could that setting actually be making you sick? What you can do to help avoid the germs. A look at high-tech devices to help you see better and the best and worst dressed stars at the Golden Globes. Don't forget, if you miss any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now give it up one more time for Alex, Shiloh, and Terrell. There's a port on a western bay that serves a hundred ships a day, lonely sailors pass the time away and talk about their homes there's a girl in this harbor town and she works laying whiskey down they say brandy fetch another round she serves them whiskey and wine sailor says brandy you're a fine girl what a good wife you would be but my life, my love, and my lady is the sea. Brandy wears a braided chain made of finest silver from the north of Spain. A locket that bears the name of a man that Brandy loved. He came on a summer's day bringing gifts from far away, but he made it clear he couldn't stay, the harbor was his home. Sailor says, Brandy, you're a fine you're girl. A fine what girl. a good wife you would be. Such now. A fine but girl. my life, my love, and my lady is to see. Well, Brandy used to watch his eyes when he told his sailor stories. She could feel the ocean staring around. She saw his rage and glory, but he had always told the truth. He was an honest man. And Brenda does her best to understand. Well, now at night, when the bars close down, Brenda walks through a silent town and loves a man who's not around. She still can hear him say, Here's him say, Brandy, oh, I'll find you. What a good wife you would be. Such a fine But my girl. life, my love, and my lady is a sea. Brandy, listen to me, Brandy. I didn't mean to leave you alone, but you know I got the room. The sea is my home now. Mr. Terrell Dennis.